Hello, I'm Korean Protector. I don't get out much, but I saw Guardians of the Galaxy over the weekend. I did not enjoy Guardians of the Galaxy because of how trees were portrayed therein. We should treat trees as good as raccoons, don't you think? Thank you. This has been a Dot P public service announcement. Hi, this is Roland from Defense of the Patients, a Dota 2 podcast. We'd like to thank you guys for listening. We hope you're enjoying the content. If you are, please remember to tell a friend. You can swing by iTunes, you can give us a funny or positive review, and we'll read it on the show. Find us at defenseofthepatients.com. Thank you for listening every Monday and Thursday to Dot P. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Defense of the Patients, the Dota 2 podcast. I'm your host Sypha, sitting here with co-host Wazoo. How's it going guys? And Roland. Hey, how's it going on y'all? And uh, if you want to get in touch with us That's here two at the weeks show. in a row. Am I not a co-host anymore? You've said co-host Wazoo and Roland twice now. You're just uh, a guy yeah. that Am I not a in. host? <laughs> Have Gus, I sorry. been demoted? <laughs> Guy on the couch? We just put a <laughs> mic on your face. I, I feel like Roland guy on the couch. I feel like I'm like pausing in the sentence bef- as I move to him. Like it's co-hosts, yeah, but maybe you, I don't. You're breaking the it to S. me on the show, like slowly. Like, <laughs> no, dude. What we're gonna do is we're just not gonna call him a host anymore. Subtle hints. And maybe hints. he'll get it. First order of business here on Defense of the Patients. Roland is off the show. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you want to get in touch with us, uh, any of us, you can hit us up on Twitter at dot p underscore show. You can also hit us up on Facebook. We'd love for you to come and find us there. Google Plus, of course. Our website is defenseofthepatients dot com. Our email is defenseofthepatients at gmail dot com. And uh, our guest today was supposed to be Anna Nicole Wong, uh, the first panda, Captain of Vasa V. Uh, but we had a little bit of a scheduling conflict, so she's going to be on an upcoming episode instead. Uh, so tonight, you just get the, the three of us and the disdain that exists between us. There's right. a lot. Yeah. There's a lot of disdain, especially towards you, <laughs> towards you, Cyprus. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. But we can talk about that later. Uh, so should we kick it off with State of Affairs? Yeah? yeah. Sure. Yeah, let's yep. do it. Let's do it. Uh, so I'm sitting uh, solo. I'm sitting just under 1,200. Oh. I got a couple of games in last night on, on solo, actually. Um, and then... On team, I'm I, I'm down. I'm down. I'm back at fourteen hundred. Well, yeah, we're all yeah. down. So, now, are we? <laughs> Who do you play with? <laughs> are Who we are all down? With? <laughs> <laughs> That's my dance of I'm not down. Yeah, Wazoo what? isn't down. You, Nobody sees with, your dance you're, though. You're playing with feed throw. <laughs> 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 our friend our friend um three flow i have never had more moments of triumph that are instantly dashed by a most resounding and humiliating victory when the team comes back and destroys us because a, th- a feed throw or three flows off in the jungle farming while our base is getting sacked <laughs> like, <laughs> we should have had him as a guest tonight stunned, I, we should have filled tonight's slot stunned, with, with stunned by a centaur <laughs> oh my god like if you like no, uh, okay no, anyway yeah. we gotta have him on so people get the, the feed reference throw. feed throw uh, yeah he's a good friend god. yeah three flow's a good guy he's a, he's a good guy we should see if he he'll call in no, no, no. I don't want to hear him on the phone. Okay. That would sound awful. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hello? Just okay. hang up. Uh, so where, where are you sitting at on your party, MMR? I, right now, am at 2186 on my solo and 2486 on my party. Nice. So I'm moving on up to the east side, man. On the east side. Like, bench. it's great. I'm, like, moving out of, like, a shoebox shit apartment where people get shot all the time to, like, a even more garbage apartment like the 3k realm <laughs> but like it feels good because i'm moving up you know and you guys are like where you, do you guys even you can live see man 3K. In sewers? You're, you're not you're not 3k but you can see it we're on the other side it, of man. the tracks i i can see 2k that's what i can see it's like it's just right there but i, oh, I can't get it 
Yeah. Which leads me to my state of affairs, Roland. Um, 1445, I think, in solo. And I've been playing a lot of solo. So that's not just like a 50 decrease. <laughs> that was like me up at like 1650 and then losing like nine games in a row. Got a Ricky today that just all caps me mid the second everybody loads into the game. And we're like, okay, like, let's just see what's up. And he picks Ricky. Like, with, like it's, there's 60 seconds to go, and at 59 oh. seconds, he just picks Ricky right away. That's brutal. And me mid, all caps again. And I Where was kind of in a bad mood. Where did come from? I don't, I Where don't do know. Where do they live? I have no idea, dude. <laughs> Fucking space. Maybe it's AI. Yeah, who knows? Well, do they even understand? You know, I Ricky's mean, robots are passing the Turing test. You know, who knows? Maybe they're playing Dota. <laughs> yeah, maybe. This fucking guy, though, dude. And... Yeah, that Ricky, he was fed as fuck. He had everything that anybody could have ever wanted. But you know what the team bought? A gem of true sight. And you know what happened to Ricky? He died 30,000 fucking times. That's painful. So I'm at like a 1445 in my solo. Yeah, long story short. You you lost 200 points for that game. It was so bad. Yes, it was. It was like minus 200. (laughs) We were like playing against like the the Teletubbies or something like that, dude. Minus 200 points off one game. Boy, oh boy. It wasn't minus. It was like probably like minus 20 or 25. Well, one thing that I've noticed with my growth of skill is like I hit revolutions. I'll start to learn the right way to play. And then I'll start to like kind of start building my MMR. And then I'll just get right back into terrible bad habits yeah. and just play like shit again and go back down like 400 points. And despite what part I of learning think, it, I guess I random every game in solo. I've randomed Phoenix once and I repicked because that's just scary. Like I don't even want to. Why don't you just follow Phoenix. the all pick and just at least have some? Because if I repick, you know, I only lose 100 gold. I can either gain 200. I'm a gambler at heart. I can gain 200 gold if I win the random, as in I get something that I can play. Or I lose 100 gold if it doesn't work but out. But counterpicking in all pick is your ultimate weapon. Yeah. And we'll, we'll talk about that later in on the cast. Yeah, yeah we, we want to get into But team my drafting. party, it's like 1450 again. Like, we, I was sitting at 1600, and I have lost with Scythus feeding and feed throw feeding. No, just kidding, no. Scythus. I'm just kidding. Scythus plays a really good support. No. Scythus takes no. one for the team. Like, we should do a commercial for you, like, hey, guys, this is Cyphus and Dumb. You make him sound like he's selling used cars. (laughs) Hey, guys, this is Cyphus with Cyphus' Mustang and Ford dealership. (laughs) That's where I'll retire. Your dad sells vacuums, doesn't he? Yeah. It would run in the, you know. It would run in the family. You move to bigger wheels, your dad will think you're you're supering him because you've moved to bigger wheeled vehicles. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy! Well, man, Some drama yeah. there. Those cars, those cars are a lot larger than vacuums. You know, they are. You bigger, pay a lot more for a car that, too. Yeah, you, know? you pay yeah, Now I like more. where this fictional Look, life pop. is headed. <laughs> Everything's moving to the internet. Pop. Soon we won't need vacuums. Pop. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine a world without vacuums. I think you'll always need them. Really. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. digress, please. Uh, let's play guess a hard counter. Ooh. Right into it. Damp in the damp. top, gotta pull up. Let's go give a plug. We've given you infinite amount of plugs, by the way. So if you hear of us, talk to us, because we want to know who you are. <laughs> People who made DotaEdge.com or Defense of the All Pick, we talk about you almost every episode. We, okay? We, we love we you. Should We're include, admirers. Uh, we should start building a link section on the they've website. They've really we helped should, us. I'll, I'll start, yeah, I'll start compiling For, They don't even know that they're helping they us. They don't but, even know they've helped us, but they've helped us in a, in a way kind of like sum up a lot of knowledge on hard picks and kind of encode it into our brains quickly so we have like a basic working framework well, for it, picking it, counterpicking least, all that stuff so thank you guys it has gotten us to think about yeah and about it gives counters. us an arbitrator. and that acceleration process for me might not seem that extraordinary with like over a grand hours in the game but you guys yeah. like with like 300 hours in the game that's huge you guys are playing like players that have you know put a lot more time into the game yeah. Um. And yes, you're right. They and do a arbitrate great arbitrator. Our, you're our welcome for that. Game. Yes. Um, <laughs> I take it a back. Great, great arbitrator. And I love that because we can definitively say, based on this website, that somebody's right or wrong. Yeah. And I love it when subjective matter becomes a right or wrong. That's right. You know, That's I love the making. Best way. Yeah, That's the only way it should be. I like aggregates, <laughs> and I like um, aggregated statistics in Dota. And you know, I'm not sure it's an algorithm because an algorithm is basically like. If this, then that. If this, then that. Right? It's like it kind of builds that way. And I don't know. I don't know if they're using an algorithm more than if they're using a one to f- five differential plus or minus five differential with each hero. 
You know what yeah, I mean? I don't know. Well, with each we're, user, we're, we're going to reach hero? out to them. Yeah, I w- I wonder how they do the math on that. I if it is an algorithm, they built a good one. Well, I I don't understand. I've never. Yeah, I I think it's user voted, Metacritic, right? It's kind of like a Metacritic that's what I or Dota. Thought. Yeah, I think it is a Metacritic, and I don't know. I mean, good Metacritics have to use. It's not called it's a like, Metacritic, though. That's what a website. But I what know. is it really called? I, what is it? Um, it would be an aggregate. A, a, or a, a yeah, score. An, an aggregate. aggregate of everybody's votes. Maybe. Which would be a differential of the zero to five. Based you on guys it. are just throwing out Man, terms is, at me, and yeah. I don't even think you're using them. We're probably the right not. Way. Yep. Like, oh, anyway, anyway. <laughs> Guess anyway. a hard counter. Uh, this week's edition, Treant. Um, Roland likes to say a lot of silly things when he plays Dota, and he likes to make a lot of silly statements. And one such statement was, Treant's the best. He has no counter. Yeah, and then I tried to think of one, and I couldn't. So we yeah. decided he'd be a really good. Really difficult to think of. Because it's like, he's big and strong. He can go invisible. So he has an escape. So you can't say he doesn't have an escape. Because if you're a decent player, just run toward a tree and then Q click yourself and you'll go invisible if you stay near a tree. It's pretty much a built-in shadow amulet. It's, yeah. um, or no, it's not a shadow blade, you could no. say, because you can move can. during it. Yes, you can. Oh, you can? Played a lot of Treant Protector. How long? It depends on how upgraded it is. You can get your whole team invisible. I thought it you worked. Can do, you I can thought do you ganks. couldn't move. At least no. that's how it used to be. No, well... Maybe. I don't right, know. You want to you wanna hear the uh, description on the ability? Sure. Sure. All right. That one is called Nature's Guise, right? Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Causes the target unit to blend in with the forest, becoming invisible to enemies and gaining a movement speed bonus when you're a tree. If the unit moves away you're from a tree. Still, so why that's would you need it. movement bonus? If so the, that's it. If the unit moves away from a tree or the spell is cast on a unit with no nearby trees, Nature's Guise is lost. Tree they don't even get it. Can cast spells and remain invisible under nature's guise. That's yeah. how I was getting confused. You just have to remain close to trees. Yeah, and trees are everywhere. You can stay. You can move across the whole entire map invisibly, except the river. Unfortunately, unless you found some weird way. I bet there's a way. I bet people have done this. Well, imagine I mean, nature's um, prophet tree trap, and then blend, and then invisible poured out around the trees. The, that's probably been done, and that's still that's Is that way possible? creative. Could, yeah, those are real trees. Wow. You can quelling blade they out. They count them. as trees. Yeah, oh. you can quelling, quelling blade, blade. You can That's tango cool. them. You can do anything you yeah. can do to normal trees to nature's oh, tree. Wow. I I had no idea. Yeah. I never yeah. even thought about uh, interacting if, with them. If if uh, nature's prophet tree traps enigma, his um I don't know what it's called. It's his W, um Mal- or E. Uh, it's his E. The the thing on the ground that oh, does yeah, damage yeah. percentage of damage over time. It's like malediction. Uh, Maledix is first, which is a oh, stun. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, you know what it does? It's that big thing on the ground that isn't a black hole that Enigma does. It'll break all of his trees down. It breaks trees. It's dope. You know I what's just... becoming ever cooler to me huh. at my level of play is um, how many hidden paths there are back in the trees, like little escape paths yeah. you can run back into. Little, little nooks. And so that's why tree's good. I mean, like... I thought they back... were random at first. When I first started playing, no, I thought the tree random. generation was always... Like, pretty similar, but random in patches. As in, like, that patch is not always going to be the same. But as you get more familiar with the map, you realize, no, the trees are in the exact same The map position. is pretty static. The map is exactly static. No. Because runes change. Um, spawns change. Those, well, yeah, I get, environment, I mean, is static. I mean, like, how do you do, and like, I, yeah, I don't know. I guess yeah. I know what you mean by, like, the actual map without it, like, the base never changes. Yeah. Anyway, talk chemistry terms. W- yeah, let's go do the ahead, Cyphus. What do you think a good counter to oh. Tree of Decker? And you've had a lot of time to think over there, and I know you have. You've had that uh, contemplative no, face. No, I don't know. I, I, I wish I did. So, do you want me to explain him to you? Because no, played yeah, him a lot. I, I've got the basic rundown. I'm, oh, okay. Overgrowth. This is alt, right? Yeah, basically is uh, disable. It's yeah. a giant disable. That, that's why a blink dagger is good with him. One one enemy unit though. No, anything oh, in a radius. Okay. Effect, and it even will entangle creeps. It also does. I believe it does stop teleport as well, which is weird yeah. for an entangle, but anyway. The teleport has to be started, and then it would stop it. I don't think you can teleport in the entangle. I'm right. not sure, though. Can you not use items within it? I don't... I play, I'm more on the giving end of the treant protector yeah. and not on the receiving and end. And he has so a I'm great sure. offlane support. I mean, we were talking about yeah. him last week. Well, Monday. What is it, Cyphus? I'm going to go um, somebody who's got kind of a built-in blink... So I'm thinking either like Phantom Assassin or Anti Mage. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go Phantom Assassin for the. Well, he has a low mana pool, by the way, so Anti Mage wouldn't be that great. Yeah. Phantom Assassin's yeah. a good pick. I would yeah. say I was gonna pick yeah, her. Yeah, that's 
a really good pick. Really good pick. There you go. Okay, Wazoo. Um, since Cyphers took my pick, mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with Jug 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 Lichen. <laughs> lichen? Yeah. Jug a Lichen. Okay, why Lichen? I'm gonna actually go with Juggernaut. Juggernaut? Yeah. <laughs> okay, why? Uh, why? Cause he could chop him up. He's magic immune, so if that overgrowth is cast while he's in his spinny, um, Blade Fury, he won't be impacted by it. And then I, I just roll up and, bah, 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 and just slash the shit out of you. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Okay. So, yeah. I'm thinking very similar. Phantom Assassin's great. And I've died as Treant to Phantom Assassin a million times. Because you're a big, slow dude. And, if, yeah. and all Phantom Assassin needs is to blink onto you. And, and get then, some good shink, crits. Shink, shink, shink. Yeah. And some yeah. good crits. And it's just like. Dunzo. Even though you're a big tree, you don't have as much life as you think. Like, people. He's tanky ish. But he's also like he he's his tankiness comes from the fact that he can heal himself yeah. with living armor and also stop damage with living armor, which we have talked about Treant Protector because he's an awesome hero. Yeah, we've talked about that at length. But I'm going to say, um, I mean, Bloodseeker naturally is a good counter to anything invisible, um, but I think it does have to be Ursa, just because Ursa, just like Phantom Assassin, can turn on that Enrage. And do burst damage before he goes invisible. Also, he can stun. So if he knows that Treant Protector went invisible just then, he can stun him. Yeah, that's that. definitely a better pick than uh, Bloodseeker as well, because you're going to be able to heal yourself. Yeah. yeah. So you're not really going to be that visible. But to that heal, it it seems like I can just be like, here's a heal, here's a heal. I'm gonna Everybody make... heals in the towers of full. Like, I'm using it on, after cooldown and leveling that thing up as like as fast as you can. That's a good up. pick. Yeah. And. I, I just, you, you don't have that much heal. You have more like, I can save your life. And over time, yeah. I can turn a tower that's at half health to full health if we're not engaging. If I don't have to throw heals on people. Because people come first. I have people that are like, heal the tower. And it's like, do, would you rather win the battle or have the tower survive? Like, I'm going to change the tide of war. That's a tough call, though, sometimes. Sometimes those towers... We weren't even fighting at that tower, though, is the thing. You heal the top oh, tower sure. and we're fighting in like bottom and it's like no i'm gonna heal where we're fighting and yeah. when i get a chance oh, yeah. i'll that fucking makes, heal top that tower. makes complete sense and it's it's from somebody who's probably never played treant protector or if yeah. they have they played treant protector um, i don't it say seems wrong, like some different. people don't realize that those abilities take mana and they take time and there's going to be a cooldown mana and... semi-negligible because it's only 50 yeah. mana but you're still giving those to the team and the cooldown and you're going to be healing mm-hmm. someone who's engaged and the cooldown Always. starts out as a minute so it's like that's oh, wow. and then it goes down to I think it's a minute if no, it feels like it and then it goes down to like 30 seconds. I think it ends at every 20 seconds. Yeah, I would love to know that. I don't know. Even when it's maxed out it doesn't feel like enough. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I will say Ursa. I'm going to submit. And <laughs> just like we suspected, there aren't many good counters. Um Ursa is on the good counter list, though. Uh, what was your guess? Phantom Assassin. Phantom Assassin is nowhere to be found. Mm. Cyphus, nowhere to be found. What was your guess, Wazoo? My guess was... Um, Juggernaut. Juggernaut. Yeah. Juggernaut. Also no, uh, nowhere to be found. Isn't this like your sixth victory or something? I ridiculous? think he's cheating, and I I, I, I don't know that cheating. we're going to let you use the computer anymore. Yeah, I, I don't you think are you facing a computer. Yeah. I am facing a computer. Yeah. Um, I, I feel promise like you, real easy patience to say, oh, dude. no, patience no gate. We're going to find out if you're So cheating. 17 people have raided Ursa, and the better way to cheat, right, is know that I was going to pick Ursa and just go vote for him a bunch of times oh, on this. Oh, yeah, that, that is the good That would be way. like the yeah. smarter way to uh-huh. cheat, because even if you take the computer, I still have skewed the score. But anyway, wow, Ursa, somebody somebody who well, didn't yeah. cheat, you sure have thought about this a lot. A well, lot. you know, I want people to think that I'm good, okay? Um, no. Three point five, three out of five. Out of Seventeen people put him at a an so, average of three point five. Here's my question to you: five. Don't you think they probably you probably aren't worried about picking a lot of counters to Treant though? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, um, we'll see. It, uh, you got to look at him as an off. Let's look at other counters. Let's let's talk about this because Drow Ranger is the number one against him. That makes sense. And let's 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 think about that. She can silence him, push him back, right? As Drow Ranger does, and shoot, you know, those frost hours, frost arrows, and relatively quickly. 
And he tries um, to run. He's super slow. Can't run. Yeah. Gets Are there any big Pudge hooks? is another counter. Quite obviously. Why? The hook. Yeah. You know? The hook You don't want it to be ult. displaced as tree ant. Enigma. You... Another counter. Because if he's invisible, he can just put that thing over. Well, that's void by that regard. Well, <clears throat> I actually was thinking that's probably play more to your displacement point, uh, you know, or you know, out of being out of position, forcing yeah. him out of position. He's not a hero that wants to be out of position because mm-hmm. he's slow. Um, he he has good right click, but it's slow as hell. Yeah, it's not his his overall damage per second is much worse than. Are, aren't most. there are there some pusher heroes on there? Because I would think yes. the biggest counter is wow. just being able to throw there, down some wards. There are you know, with, like, pusher Shadow heroes, and I remember Prophet. getting. Yeah. I mean, you can't this do is, much as tree. This is awesome. Rem- I don't know if you remember this game, Wazoo. You were not in this game, Cyphus. Um, I was playing Treant Protector. I gave you Haste Rune? And Jakiro... No, this is uh. a while ago. And Jakiro was in my lane, and I lost that tower quicker than I've ever lost another tower. Yeah. And Jakiro is actually... Is, let's see. What is Jakiro's counter rating? A 3.33 against Treant. Which, yes, you're right. And Naga Siren's also on this list. And Terror Blade is on this list. As sure. in, and Enigma. Enigma's a pusher, too, with his Eidolons. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, and Venomancer's a pusher. Death Prophet's on here as a pusher. He can't do much to pushers as an offlaner. It, yeah. Really. Well, of course they're going to counter him because he's, I mean, the best way to, the best way to counter somebody who's healing the tower is to be somebody mm-hmm. who can take a tower down in a single push. Yeah. Sure. Let's talk about some avoid pickings. Like, let's get into this a little more. This is what this site says Treant is good against. Lifestealer is what it says. Wazoo, why Lifestealer? Um, because life stealer is going to go and engage, and this is like best or worst case scenario. Best case scenario is he engages on the other hero, not Treant, and then Tree can start healing up the person. The person gets the damage knocked down by living armor. Um, he waits for the BKB to be popped on the life stealer, the built-in BKB, and then um, he uses whatever it is. What's the tree trap thing called? In- overgrowth. Oh, his ult? Yeah. Yeah, his ult he is He uses that. that, and then he gets finished off. Living armor's really strong against the, in those one-on-one type situations. Mm-hmm. It's global. And um, Lifestealer, sometimes you, early game, you're getting that last hit and limping away in ways, you know, and you don't want some living armor going down on a target early game that sure. you can miss out on gold. No, just to give you guys a, a few other heroes that you don't want to play against Treant Protector, according to DotaEdge.com. And this is just based on a one-on-one like aggregate of how is this hero and it against is a this one hero. Yeah. It's not taking into account any other the, other picks on um, the team. Don't, apparently don't play Spirit Breaker against Treant Protector. Yep. Don't pick Spirit Breaker. Who else is on that list? Just uh, just, IO is like on that list. Three. IO, Nature's Prophet, Abaddon, uh, Lone Druid. I wonder Nick's why Nature's Assassin. Prophet. Uh, cause he's in, oh, he's around right, the tree. Trees yeah, maybe, I guess. <laughs> I wonder why the two yeah. manipulates yeah. trees and the tree guy. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Um, they do a lot of cool things with trees and Dota. Io because you can just trap him and break the link. I'm guessing if you overgrowth, you break the link with whoever Io has. So well, and also it's like three slaps from tree blows Io up. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, so a little follow up to our uh, techies. Uh, guess a hard counter. Uh, looks like. I hate I hate I hate to have to do this. Uh, I think this might be the first you're hearing of it. Wazoo, uh, Roland is by far, in a way, the winner of that one as well. Comments on the site, uh, email. Some people disagreed. Some people what disagreed with what I said about the spirit bear. They um, they like Lone Druid as the as the techies counter. Fridge Master yeah, said. Good. Fridge Master, I th- I think it was Fridge Master. It is a good counter. He said, um, if you're using that logic, why not Phantom Lancer or Naga Siren? Using their um, uh, illusions there to blow up bombs. Oh yeah, sure. You don't. They don't get any gold for killing an illusion. Yeah. And what do you fucking care if you're Naga Siren or Phantom Lancer? Yeah, that's pretty yeah. cool. Just spread your cancer to get rid of the bombs. I think. I think Phantom Lancer is a much better counter <clears throat> than yeah. maybe Lone we Druid should be, is. We should be thinking about that in our games. Yes. Playing a, a yeah. But we don't play against techies often. Luckily. Yeah, we have a, every few uh, games lately. Every couple of games. Every four or five. Like games. I said last. A podcast it feels lackluster we either we either have a dude on our team that's playing techies that's getting a kill here and there randomly and then and we're losing typically. and we're losing typically or we're playing against techies and we're winning typically and we're dying here and I there had an randomly. 80 minute game with feed pro 
where we won in the end, but it was because this techies would just counter push us. Like we'd have that brave heart moment where we were like, charge men for battle for all. And they will take run- our towers. Yeah. We'd run up their fucking like ramp towards their tier three mid and we'd all just explode. And it'd be like triple kill. <laughs> and we're just like, what the, f- it, this is Dota now, man. I you like, know? I do like the concept of a counter pusher. I mean, that's, that's an yeah. interesting concept, but. I, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't think anybody's mastered. I, we uh, Definitely at our skill level, nobody's mastered. You know what I hate? I really am hating. Like, I, I'm pretty active on Twitter, okay? And I don't really care. I'm going to share my opinion on this. Let's stop being so dramatic. I still love Dota. It didn't ruin <laughs> yeah. Dota. You're oh, still yeah. playing Dota, too. This fucking ruined Dota. And it's like, guess who's still playing? Like, obviously not. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, techies suck. I only play single draft. Yeah. Yeah. Techies doesn't Fuck you, techies. Attack. Like, cry about it, dude. Yeah. You're playing a free game. Sorry. New heroes, free game. Yeah. Free for They'll all, fix man. It. They'll balance him. <laughs> yeah. Right now it sucks, but we're playing a free fucking game. Free game. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, chill the fuck out, okay? Seriously. Like, I'm I agree this, with like, you 100% rest dead game in bullshit. Peace, Dota 2, Techies is out. It's like, oh my god. Like, chill the yeah. fuck out. I'm sure people said that when Legion Commander came out. Like, yeah. you can just fucking duel me? I felt wow, that. This I felt lame. that. It's like, I don't submit to a duel. Yeah. I don't want to. <laughs> Didn't even slap me with a glove in yeah. the face. Where was the option to decline? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where's the option to run home like a pussy? I don't see that anywhere. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my sentiment on that. I'm like, I'm sorry if you disagree. That's fine. T- tell me why I, you disagree. We're not playing yeah. in high level, though. No, we're like, not. Maybe we're you're not. used to your maybe. four, your 4,800 play where everything's going good. And, like, you have a Meepo in there that's, like, awesome, you know. And yeah. then the Meepo just walks in one place and gets blown up. Oh, yeah. Meepo's, Meepo's all over. gotta be. Wow, Meepo's yeah. probably at more risk than anybody. I yeah, didn't poor Meepo's probably getting just trolled, com- obliterated, <laughs> wrecked all day. Techies. But it's like, just don't play Meepo if you see techies. And, yeah. Or don't yeah. play whatever you think is bad against at, techies. At our skill level, I almost don't want anybody to ever play Meepo. And really, just if you want some good old Doto 2, play Captain's Draft. If you can play get, Captain's Mode. If Guess you can what? get enough is, buddies together. Or just, you know, you can if play you with want random good people. Old Dota, you can yeah. play single Captain's Mode. Counter pick yeah. and all pick. You know what they should do? Yeah. Um, I think they should make you have your picks locked in by 15 seconds to go. And then be- people can back out and do anything. They can grab their last picks up until that zero second. But if you're at zero seconds, it should random you. And because... If you're not locked into I a mean, hero. Which leads us perfectly into the strategy discussion yes. today. Which is yeah, draft. Losing at the draft. Can you lose with a draft? And I... And uh, it's obvious, yes, you can yeah. lose with a draft. Can I take the start of this one kind of going sure. from my last point? Because people have been saying that the counterpicking that's going on in, in all pick at all levels be- has become a real problem. Like, what's the big deal of losing even 100 gold if you get a really good pick against another team? I mean, it's worth that gold. Mm-hmm. It's worth it in value to be able to play a hero that's going to scale well against another, another team. Um, and in a game type that's more or less a scrimmage. Yeah. Uh, you know, even though your MMR is being impacted by it. I mean, teams who are, you know, playing together as an actual team with a team MMR, they're playing captain's draft. Right. Well, sometimes they play all pick. I mean, you see teams on there when we have five stacks playing all pick all the time. Some like, tryhards. It's less serious, right? Like, all pick is like, let's just, let's just fucking play a game of Dota. And then captain's mode is like, let's eat fucking, you know, dinner think about it talk about it strategize and play some dota and then after go to sleep because you're so goddamn tired because it was an intense game yeah with about like, w- with what feels like 30 minutes of drafting it's, yeah <laughs> it's the meat and potatoes of dota it is the just, captain's draft because you, you need a quickie. It, it's definitely my just, preferred just way to play a public. even still well it feels the most true to the spirit of the game too because the game isn't supposed to be me sniper mid it's supposed to be our sniper got banned out like who else can you play you know we need to like Mm -hmm. it's about malleability and adaptability just like the game itself that's what the game is about where and where everybody gets an equal opportunity to counter pick yeah um but i guess so the game the the game where that you and i had that was just i mean absolutely fucking miserable yep it was Was this last night yes yes it was there were words i i like i was losing my shit i I could hear you guys couldn't handle it Um, like I, I don't rage that bad that often, but that game was driving me crazy. Um, we were radiant side. I was crystal maiden. You were night stalker. 
uh, we had a, I was laning Weaver top with Lever, Weaver top, which really sucked from the get go because down you the have safe not lane, been having good luck with Weavers. No, lately. but let's finish talking about this game. Um, yeah, oh, did you? I'll say the other side. Did you already? Did you? Yeah, see no, I didn't teams? go over. The, yeah, we were radiant. I didn't go over Dire. Okay, well, on the Dire side, they had sh- they picked the Shadow Fiend for their mid. They had a Wraith King, Death Prophet, Shadow Shaman, and Nature's Prophet. So they had lots of prophets. Was there a solo? And um, uh, well, in our <clears throat> no, they're. <clears throat> oh yes, there was. Um, they had a solo. Uh, they had a solo off lane with Wraith King. Wraith I think. King, yeah. and then they had the Shadow Makes Shaman sense. and um, DP. Yeah, over with us. Shadow Shaman, yeah. Death Prophet. It was. Oh, when when it Ooh. came time, like we were getting. That's so, a ton of push. We yeah. we were actually doing fairly well initially. We got a couple of pickoffs on that uh, Shadow Shaman early game, if you recall, because we were about. I don't know, eight minutes in, nine minutes in, and the score was seven nothing, in our favor. I mean, we were just wrecking their team. Did you have somebody Shaman, on your team that was like, "We're the seven Sven, and all. The we're Sven, Sven was co- was saying how well he was doing. He was comp- he was commenting on how he had never seen a Sven go four and zero so quick in the and game. And the Sven himself was saying this. Yes. yes. So it's like one of those guys. Huh? Yep. Who was I am so so, so impressed, so impressed with himself. I'm so impressed. And I was like, "Well, how, we. How did I get here? I don't, I don't think anyone zero? on our team in that situation understood that we had a composition that needed to win in the mid game or not at all, and it wasn't going to win in a late game comp. And just looking at them, you can see. So, that. what did you have? PA mid? No, I was mid as Who, Night Stalker. PA, okay. PA oh, and Sven. How was, was your time against Shadow Fiend? Um, not bad at all, honestly. Because I play a lot of Shadow Fiend, and so I picked Night Stalker to counterpick him, actually. Okay. And, Why does um, he counterpick I, him? Because you need to be able to land your um, raises. Okay. And those do pretty good damage, but you're not doing really good damage until, like, four minutes, and that's, like, the first night. Why until four minutes? Yeah, it is the first because night. Because they do go in cycles for every four minutes yeah. is yeah. the night. So, is cool. okay, this is why. You can either be skilling up your ability to be gathering souls and getting right click damage, or you can be skilling up your rays. Okay, which so, the rays is fring, yeah. Fring. So like level three, that's when it hurts Night Stalker because he's a pretty like beefy hero. Mm-hmm. I feel like as Shadow Fiend, and by that point, like he's like level six or seven, okay. you know. Okay. And so I'm running around the map, ganking other lanes, like leaving him to the lane. And so maybe that was a bad idea in hindsight because Shadow Fiend can get mean if you Well, we weren't. Right I killed him a couple times though to keep taking down the, his souls. The, uh, the, okay. the problem How? was at at so at like eight or nine minutes the score was seven zero, and then by twenty minutes the score was like fifteen and seven, and when Death Prophet came online with her ult and Shadow Shaman came online with oh. his ult, me and Weaver up in that lane, CM and Weaver, like we weren't doing, we were doing anything. Like we couldn't, we had no ability to stop it. I mean, I can't pop my ult and do anything to them um, yeah. because they're <laughs> that's they can we, hit and run and stay at a distance. We were outpicked, um, but we yeah. were outpicked on a concept as well. We were outpicked on push, and I don't think that our team recognized. They that had we all a cool had team. Like think heroes. about it: Shadow Fiend middle, Shadow Shaman. And Death Prophet laning together. When they both get level six, oh, that tower is dead. Not to yeah. mention, nobody even thought for a heartbeat about Nature's Prophet in the jungle. Yeah, of course. And then before we knew it, forget about him. Before we knew it, we looked. We were looking at the bottom oh lane, and, and Nature's Prophet. Prophet he pushed tier one and tier two in a single push. Oh yeah. I mean, it was. Oh, it if was he game hits over. the. So what you do is you bounce between the ancients. You don't let anybody know. You get your desolator. You get everything you need. And then when you appear, you appear in the lane in that weird shift in the game when everybody isn't in lane anymore they're together like that one guy is like we need to stick together and then you're all in the like same lane together and then nature's prophet busts in takes some trees takes the tower takes the, the tier two tower yeah, yeah. and it was a mean push well, pushing lineup and we got talking about the concept of losing based upon the draft and i feel like this game's a good example where we lost on the draft because we did not recognize what they were building, and, you and they were building a serious huh. You had on your draft Crystal Maiden, which what dis- disabler nuker. Um, disable. Yeah, kind I, I don't think nuker, you can call her a nuker. I, guess, I mean, her ult does good damage. It's I mean, more. It, of it like does, a but disabler, AOE. Where that explosion though. is only within like two hundred thirty units, of course, and yeah. support. I I really like so when that lane when that game began. Also, I assumed that 
Sven was going to be going top lane and PA was going to be going safe lane and they were going to split up. And you up. were radiant, so he, you were thinking Sven was going to go off lane? Yeah, I was thinking Sven was going to go well, off Sven lane. Sven normally goes safe lane, doesn't he? I mean, Sven's your hard carry. You want your hard carry to get well, off well, lane. Well, PA was our the, hard carry the in that PA was, I think, in that. Uh, yeah, PA I mean, would be a better off lane. They, they Honestly, those think. two, I felt like at, in that game were interchangeable. They could have gone either direction. Mm. Maybe you've seen you've seen Wazoo play Sven as as a hard carry. I've a, seen him play bit. safe lane, but I guess if you specked Cleave early in off lane, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Well, and he's got a stun. I mean, he's he's yeah, going to be he solid. He can use like once, but I guess with Crystal Maiden and the mana regeneration, he can but, use it. more. I mean, Sven's going to be solid as long as you're not th- sticking in mid. He's probably solid depends on what lane. his function on the team is. He was pretty much there for more stun, so as long as he was in some lane getting levels. He honestly but, wasn't a good pick, and that's one thing I will criticize, is he was picked super late. He was picked super late in the draft, and um, after they had the pushers on the table and none of us recognized as relatively new play- players that we needed to be picking anti-pushers, something that's going to push back against all these pushing heroes late game. By not recognizing it in the draft, we pretty much gave him the game, and that's why I think games can be lost in the draft, if you don't recognize these situations, you know what I mean? Ooh, techies would be a great counter against yeah. Nature's Prophet. Could you imagine all Nature's Prophet running in on the tree, like running in on the tower, his trees running and in boom. on the tower, yeah. and bam, landmine? That's got to kill all of those yeah. tree ants. It would be interesting to see. I mean, you know. Hell, he would be, he's a great counter push. He really is. I think people hate the suicide the most, right? Yeah. Like, we can deal with running over a bomb and dying. I think people hate that, like... We clump together and blah, the guy fucking kills himself and gets a triple kill. Yeah. Well, like, I I think what people probably like don't appre- or appreciate the least, especially at our level, is I feel like most of the time everybody's playing techies and they have like a set decision about what they're gonna do, and all they're ever doing for the first ten minutes of the game is setting up their first kill. You you know what I mean? Yeah. Like they're not contributing to anything no, else. They're just an extension of a four man team. Yeah, is is how it feels with yeah. techies. And all they're trying to do is either pile up bombs just at the base of, of the tower they oh, think is going to go first. Oh, interesting on that. Can I have Roland's corner on this, please? Oh no, Roland's corner. Three mines will will usually kill a person early game, and I think this was described uh, uh, from Purge, but don't quote me on that. You, you are going to need around four to five to kill somebody later game. It takes 200 mana each to drop one of those landmines. So that's 600 mana to kill a person, and the cooldown alone is going to be somewhere around a minute to do that. So if you're setting up a gank with techies, it's going to take a minute, it's going to take 600 mana, and it's going to not be worth it. Well, so Yeah, I think what they were... I mean, the strategy I've seen most frequently utilized at, at our level again as the qualifier is... Just like, well, I mean, the three of us in that one game where we ran up against mid while, you know, Keeper of the Light was keeping us at bay just as we were trying to get our position there on the mid tower. And then we took that mirror tier one or we went to take that mirror tier one, mid tier one. Mm-hmm. And then boom. Like, yeah. I mean, that's what the that's what that techies was spending his entire time that game doing was setting up a kill on our entire team, getting a tier one tower. That's that was it. And I think that's what's happening at the the beginning of most of this. Cool. Games. That's, yeah, like that's what I say to techies. Like, cool. Like when yeah. the, you blew up a tower, yeah. cool. Well, we took that. I mean, act, you know, they were sacrificing their own tower. I mean, in a weird way. I'm sure the gold differential is or way more they, in their favor than us taking the tower. Or when they but. yippee yay ha when they get a kill in the side shop because they put fucking four mines in the side shop and somebody walks on it, uh, and it's like cool. every every time I see techies, I spend two hundred. It's two hundred gold. I spend it on those centuries. No, I mean when they're on your team and they're cheering. Oh, sure. And it's yeah. like, and then they get a kill because of it. You I know just want to be like cool and positive about cool. techies that goes against the current meta. Huh? Is um, I saw a video of Tink- Tinker being played as annoyingly as he could be. You know, we've all seen it. Okay. Porting into the sides. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The t- the techies was putting mines like right where he thought the Tinker was going to be putting it, like porting in, and he guessed it every time. So the Tinker would wah, 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 end up there, and then he just. <laughs> blow up the tinker every well, time know, he ported you in you know when tinker's porting in because uh boots of travel make that effect on yeah. the creep yeah the like be me and scotty like type of 
effect, you know? But what this guy was doing... The J.J. Abrams being What this guy was doing was blinking to the side and pushing with his March of the Machines. And the techies had put on the sides in the forest all of his bombs. (laughs) So every time he blinked out, he just got a... Oh, you're talking with his blink dagger when he poured in and blink in. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. (laughs) Because there is some Tinker Justice in need. Yeah. Like, that Tinker strategy... Tinker Justice is needed. Is just like, oh my god, like... Like, I bet that, like, why didn't people call, like, Dota Apocalypse with, when that Tinker meta came out? <laughs> like, he gets his boots of travel, he gets his bottle, he gets his soul ring, he yeah. gets his Dagon, and oh I no, was reading, lose. I was reading an AMA with Admiral Bulldog, the Lone Druid Alliance player, who's really uh, famous for Lone Druid, yeah. we talked about him before. Yes, we have. Um, and he said, what is something you changed, was the question someone asked him in the next patch. Mm-hmm. And he said, um, Razor, Ags no longer affects buildings, Tinker... Remove from game. <laughs> <laughs> and then he perfect. said, like, take invisible off Lycan's Wolves or something. Okay. Because it is annoying as supports and getting eaten alive. Like you said, what you love to do with Lycan is I just sick my wolves on that squishy support as in the battle. As you run back home. As you run back home. Go, my wolves. And that Pugna's like, oh, no, don't. Yeah. Like, oh. And, and like then they, as they turn yeah, around yeah. to kill them, they turn invisible. I'm yeah. like, it's they're just, just like, oh. yeah. Nothing more frustrating than turning to face the wolves and realizing that, oh, they're going to go invisible. Here's what <laughs> I realized about those invisible wolves in a, in a game recently where I was playing with um, a phantom assassin uh, up, in, up in safe lane. And the wolves kept attacking the phantom assassin and she was running away. Just running away as the wolves were chipping at her slowly. And I'm like, turn around and fight. Like, and, and when she did, it was like one two dead on each wolf it's like the thing about those wolves is why that you sick them on the supports is the supports usually don't have good right click yeah also what we've talked about um which is why his the wolves are so great against like a crystal maiden because it's like sure does the crystal maiden turn around to do that no but a phantom assassin can yeah so it's just like when to be afraid and when not to be afraid of the wolves supports are always the first thing it seems like supports are are amongst the first thing that gets targeted down with a lot of teams i'd agree oh yeah Unless you know those are the kills you're, you're like Meepo, get. and then if you're Meepo, like I played a game with Meepo earlier where it's like, oh Meepo, get him! Like every fucking nuke in the world, and it's just no. Like I'm trying to poof onto another Meepo. I also suck with Meepo, but that's okay. Uh, anyway, remember so when you were playing Meepo after you got into the game for two weeks, and that's all you wanted to play? I I okay. The bad always outweighs the good, but <laughs> I had some good <laughs> games with Meepo. Okay. Yeah, no, you did have some good games with Meepo. Where I think you have the micro, squash. too. I think you have the micro to get good with him, for sure. Here's what is hard to do, is the blink dagger, tab W, enter, like, tab W, enter, tab W, enter, to do the poof, where you have him poof onto one, and you blink in, and then you have him poof all onto that Meepo, and so it does, like, a crazy burst amount of damage onto an AoE, a close AoE. That's hard as fuck to do. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, if I got I good believe that. That'd be uh, cool maybe. to see. yeah. Um, um, but yeah, no, I do think you can lose the game at the draft stage. Um, I, I think in that particular game, we had absolutely no push. I mean, I wish, I, I wish I would have grabbed Shadow Shaman. Like, I think that would have made a difference in yeah. our lane. Oh, definitely. Because oh, we huge. were it we were winning huge. we were winning fights before level six. The problem was they were there was a decent amount of push on their team. You know, anyway, just with with their right click with their uh, Shadow Shaman that lightning. Uh, his Q ability is really good for pushing out a creep wave. They're like, yeah, like the, the Darth Vader lightning. Yeah. The force lightning. Yeah. The force lightning. (laughs) Uh, but I mean, it's, it's pretty good at at pushing the creep wave up. And then before we knew it, they had the, you know, death prophet ult and the shadow shaman wards at the same time, the serpent wards. It it was brutal. We lost that top tower. That's just too much. Way too much push. And that's the thing. Um, three flow talks about this. Like, it's like the scriptures for him. Like, (laughs) <laughs> the ultimate combo for him would be Vengeful Spirit for the aura damage, okay? Wraith King for the stun and receiving the aura damage for the critical. They lane together, okay? Middle would um, go to... Death Prophet. Death Prophet. Um, and then the other lane would include Crystal Maiden, and it would also include... No, he wants Shadow he, Shaman. No, he wants Crystal he wants Maiden. He wants Push. He, no, he wants Crystal oh, Maiden for the mana push. on Wraith King, and then it's Crystal Maiden Sven off lane. So they, Sven and Wraith King both can be using their incredible stuns. Vengeful can flip. Death Prophet can push. And it is like the 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 pinnacle of of success 
he, in he a was talking combo. about um I, wh- so this is the Wazoo version was a, I heard. Was it with you? Was it you and me that were talking to him about like putting together Team Push? Team where, Push yeah. would include like Shadow Shaman, Death Prophet, um, Nature's Prophet, Phantom Lancer, Phantom Lancer, and um, Naga who was Siren. the other? Like, no, he wanted Venomancer for for a four slot support. Venom Venomancer would be a great support. Those um, Plague Wards are awesome. For yeah, push. yeah, also good for push. Yeah, I mean, could you imagine? I love it? Venomancer. It, it would be fun sometime in all pick to just lock in those five. Dare I say, Venomancer is my favorite hero in the game, oh, no. and I will say it. Oh, be careful. I I love Venomancer. It's my favorite hero. I love mitting with Venomancer. Uh, these guys hate me mitting with Venomancer. So if you'd like, I will defend a Dota dissertation. All right. The middle, the middle Venom, All right. Venomancer. All right. Defend, defend it, defend it. <sighs> Venomancer middle, right? Imagine this, where the creep wave is always on their high ground, where your plague wards are always just out of tower range, yet they're upgrading super quickly, and Venomancer is getting the gold to get an extremely fast mechanism, maybe a mechanism at seven mi- minutes, maybe even six minutes. Then you have anybody else go middle and take it from him as he builds up his Venomous Gale. If he can get max Plague Wards, his pushing is like that of Shadow Shaman, but every five seconds, especially Venomancer with Crystal Maiden because of the low mana pool on Venomancer and the low cost of mana for Plague Wards. Venomancer is my favorite hero. I love him, and he can go mid. He can solo offlane. He's adaptable. He's respectable he's beautifully <laughs> built and i love venomancer i don't know about those okay well, i don't know about the that poison's one. awesome i love I, how the ult is yeah. built he's a perfectly balanced perfectly awesome perfectly great i love venomancer i'd rather see you especially because you continue to discuss him as being support i hate the idea of a support mid um i don't i don't understand is this your, why is this your argument yeah against no, 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 my no, no. yeah v- venomancer is a great mid yeah i don't okay so you're i, I think he's a terrible so you're mid. unprepared today yeah. is that what it is <laughs> please please <laughs> so i had no notice <laughs> let it be known that i never prepare um no uh, I, I i don't all right wazoo what do you think no you're wrong so you think? i'm gonna use your strategy he's a great mid and you're wrong no no yeah wazoo. i don't think you have a point at all. My point is to take the high ground. Uh, it's slow growth, so I'm accum- I'm not taking the tower, but I'm stopping the creeps. The creeps are always on high ground. It's always pushed Why can't up to you them. Do that in the off lane? It makes it extremely hard for their mid. Why I'm don't countering you do it their in the mid. Off lane? It can be done in the off lane. Why can't there be someone else taking but up the that? But the middle is the shortest mid. path. Right. I would let rather me, Let me fully explain. I'd rather okay, you were harassing the carry. Okay. I, I'm harassing with your I'm harassing their early game carry. Which what is an early game carry? A mid usually. Or in a lot of cases a mid. Lena goes mid. I'm saying she's carrying the team early on. But you're harassing their mid carry at the expense yeah, I'm of slowing us having them a down carry. and in and, and we speeding have up our no support. mid carry. We get no we mid have, carry. We have zero mid but carry. Neither do I. It's like mutually assured destruction. No, but that's a terrible and way to play the, no, the game. I'm taking that out of my Dota dissertation. I'm not saying it's that mutually is discri- uh, the single worst mutually... point to take mid that I've ever heard. Okay. <laughs> My Dota dissertation is Venomancer is an awesome mid. And Support Lena's me. a terrible example because Dragon I, oh, Breath. I oh, I pick Venomancer mid because he's bad, Don't use that but voice they're for me. bad too. That's patronizing. <laughs> <laughs> that's patronizing and that's rude. At least we have playing points. And they don't have those. And I, the creeps you know what? are always under their tower hey, where they can easily farm them. You know what? I'm going to write a Dota dissertation, and I'm actually going to put it on the website like when I'm supposed to. Hey, mine, okay? mine's up there now. Yours is up there, and it's a fucking novel. God damn, I haven't even read it, to be honest. Well, excuse like, excuse me for I, being and thorough. It's, <laughs> and it's wrong, dude. You take up like a whole page with your thing. It's like they won't even know episodes exist. They'll think it's just a blog if they go to our website because it's just so I much wanted to. Text. I wanted to properly address, especially after I saw that elementary Dota dissertation you threw up there for boots. Yeah, it... It needs to be concise and quick, and my point was so golden and good that it only needed a little bit of a description, which I will put a Dota dissertation up on why Venomancer is an awesome mid. I've seen it in pro play. Um, when? Uh, Funic. Yeah, no, Funic that, was yeah. playing. You see that pause? That pause was a, Funic, oh shit, now i got to back my line no, up. When? Defend me. 
You guys all are pros out there that listen. To. We have people that are way good that listen to our yeah, show. It's crazy. Yeah, Can you tell me uh, when? <laughs> and I'll go look it up because I couldn't find. No, anything we'll have it. the pros. I like I like it when like Adamy jumps in or yeah. or like Mys, another listener we have jumps in. And is okay, like, well, do you have anything of substance to say, or <laughs> are you just gonna keep yes. saying maybe someone um, will back you up someday? No, they will back me up. Venomance someone else will prove my point. Venomance are mid good. Venomancer mid good. Yeah, you don't have a point. I will write it. I will have it up. They tomorrow. don't have a mid that can roam in game. Noob. Venomancer. But neither do we. I will have it up before you guys even hear this show. Wow. That's that's before this show is even released. You will uh, you will have an explanation, oh, no. a Dota dissertation on why I think Venomancer is a great mid. Well, do you think we've made fun of each other enough tonight? Um, Almost. We've made fun of each other. Yeah. I think we should uh, talk about Amanda Nicole. Oh yeah. Um. So yeah. Wow. Again, on that front, another uh, just a scheduling difficulty. Uh, we're we're incredibly busy, and she's incredibly busy, and we just couldn't line the times up right for the yes. Thursday episode. Uh, so she will be joining us uh, just at a little bit of a later date. Uh, we're working that out with her right now, and we'll mm-hmm. make an announcement uh, on the very next episode. Or hey, maybe it'll be a surprise, and you'll just uh, you know. Or find you'll us just on Monday get an episode here. with Amanda Nicole Wong. You can find um, her Twitter at uh, Dota Two FTP. Yeah, Dota. Or no, Dota Two TFP. The first panda. The first panda. Right. That is her, her uh, Steam ID. Steam ID. Her alias. Yeah. Her Dota alias. And you've played with her once before as well, right? I've played with her a couple of times, and she's fucking good. Like we should. Uh, I, they the whole team was fucking good. Why do you always get to with. play with the good people? You're a bad example. Hey, dude. <laughs> I don't know. No, I'm joking. I mean, because they they understand that my Venomancer mid is fucking incredible, and they request oh, that every no. time we play oh, that I play Venomancer. And that's mid. the question we're gonna ask her when we have her on the show. <laughs> I did not we're play gonna, Venomancer in heart. any of the games with them. <laughs> we're gonna get to the heart of her thoughts on uh, on Venomancer mid. All right. Oh yeah, we could ask her that. Oh, yeah. I would love her defense, like a and, professional's defense on the show. Uh, so uh, have you, we've been toying with that Dota after the the standard deviants guys have been uh, kind enough to introduce us to that. Um, are you able to look up where someone lanes and their win rate? Like if Venomancer goes mid, you know, at the start, uh, you, know you know who, that's a great question to ask. A, a deviant. A deviant. A yeah. standard deviant. A yeah. standard we're going to get, we're going to get them. Go ahead on. and get, talk to, ask yeah, Fridge, you know, Fridge plug, Master. Plug, or, yeah. Or why do you plug that segment? We are. Yeah. yeah we're going to do that. Let's plug standard let's, deviant. Um, we're going to try to get a hold of them over the weekend and set this yeah. and set it up and get our first segment Explain going. the show, Cyphus. Explain what we're planning on doing in the future. We'll say this is the segment in the show, dot P, future dot P. Yeah. yeah what yeah, do sure. we have planned? Uh, yeah. Down the road, uh, more of those down PSAs. Down the road is the next episode or the episode after. Oh, yeah. Well, down the road. Yeah. For episodes for the foreseeable future, sure. Uh, some ask a ask a deviant segments with the guys from the Stats House Standard Deviants. They're going to answer our funny and sometimes uh, asinine stats questions. Um, and then, of course, uh, more guests, plenty of more, plenty of additional guests, and more of those PSAs. We hope you guys are enjoying those at the at the top of the show. Um, I don't care that they're if they're enjoying them or not. Yeah, I you're, am. You're like enjoying I said, them. It's about me, man. I'm an artist, okay? Yeah. Like, I enjoy, I enjoy the process, okay? I don't care if you like it, man. we got to wrap this episode up because we've lost Wazoo to, to Tinder or something. Oh, oh no, I'm looking, uh, uh, I'm yeah. looking at Java programming, actually. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. just, just, as My fellow nerds. Him, just as appealing to him as Tinder, maybe. Yeah. My fellow Probably. nerds, I'm not looking at women, but I'm looking at programming. Yeah, <laughs> to be one or the other. It was a, it was well, a toss-up. Well, sleep code. All right, so if you want to hit us up... <laughs> I would never own a shirt like that. You can hit up Wazoo at at dot p underscore Wazoo on Twitter. Roland at dot p underscore Roland. Me, I'm at dot p underscore Cyphus. You can hit up the show at dot p underscore show. Uh, email is defense of the patients at gmail dot com. Uh, webs uh, hit us up on Twitter, Google Plus, uh, Facebook, defense of the patients dot com. Uh, let's see what else. What else? Oh, iTunes. That's where we want them to go. Uh, leave us a review, uh, something positive, something funny, something awful. Hey, we're we're open to anything, and uh, we're open to try anything, baby. Yeah, we're 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 free thinkers. You heard Roland; he's an artist. <laughs> I am. <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, this is Cyphus saying for Wazoo and Roland. Good luck and Godspeed. Are we all down? That's my dance of I'm not down.